All right, this is another hot question with uh, one of the students posted this question to my Facebook page. So I decided to make a short video about this question. Yeah, I think this is KBAT question, which is a hot question. So the question says, given that the x squared plus y squared equals to 11xy, and it asks you to prove that log 10x minus y will equal to half log 10x plus half log 10y plus uh, the log 10 3 over here all right so yeah so i'm going to guide you about how to solve this hot question so for first i will actually copy down the question first so i will have x square plus y square plus y square equals to 11 xy right for this question okay let me write nicely a bit okay plus y square equals to 11 xy all right for this question the first hint is how can I get x minus y? Because over here, I, I didn't see any minus sign. And and at the same time, at the same time, yes, and my x power actually is different. So my first idea is whenever I see x square and y square, I it will link me to something like a plus b square. All right, what is the meaning? So, so my first idea is come from this. So, I start to think, if x minus y square, what I will have? I will have x square minus 2xy plus y square. So from here, actually I will see x square plus y square, which is x square plus y square. So if I rearrange this one, this is x square plus y square minus 2xy. So my first thought is, in order to get x x minus y square i need to minus 2xy from uh from my left hand side so i will minus 2xy here so i will at the same time i will minus 2xy on my right hand side so this this one is i i added it myself because what because why because i want to get x minus y square this is my purpose of adding the two negative 2xy for both sides all right so because of this formula i know actually x x square plus y square minus 2xy is equals to x is equals to x minus y square then yeah 11 xy minus 2xy is 9 xy all right okay so from here if you can understand until this step then you almost got the answer already so what i will do next is i will because the question actually asked me to prove that the log 10 for all this so i will add the log 10 for both sides so i add the log 10 here x minus y square and i add the log 10 here as well for 9 x y okay the rule of log actually tell tell me that the power i can move in front so basically i have two bracket log 10 x minus y then will equals to log 10 9 x y basically is log 10 9 multiple x multiple y because all, all over here is multiple so what i will do is multiple i know when i expand it it will actually give me plus so I plus log 10 x and plus log 10 y okay then i see i almost got it so what i will do next is i I will move my 2 to the other side so it, it actually becomes divided 2 for every single one so divide 2 you have to understand actually the same meanings with multiple 1 over 2 so yeah so the next step is basically what I will do is I will move my 2 to the other side so this is log 10 x minus y so I move my 2 over here actually it's same idea like dividing 2 so I will write 1 over 2 multiple log 10 9 this is the meaning the same meanings with divide 2 all right so i will plus 1 over 2 log 10 x and plus 1 over 2 log 10 y right i almost got the answer you according to here you should get half log 10 x half log 10 y and log 10 3 the problem is i i have both of this but then i do not have the log 10 3 so what i will do is i will move the half uh move the half go up will become the power of 9 so this one is log 10 x minus y 
So I move the half will become log 10, 9 power half. So 9 power half, you have to understand. Actually, this one is same meaning with uh, square root. So what I know is 9 power half actually is same meanings with square root. So square root of 9, then I can get the 3. So therefore, I just rearrange everything. Or you can straight away write. 3 plus half log 10 x plus half log 10 y. Then, yeah, you can write proven. Okay, because the question asks us to show that actually we can from that equation to get this equation. So the only difficult part about this question is, yeah, the first step. I will always say the first step is the very hard for the hot questions. So the first step is you must able to understand when x minus y, how to get x minus y from the whole equation here. So the first idea is I come out is because I, I can think x minus y square. Because when x minus y square, I actually have x square plus y square minus 2xy. So this is my first idea on this question. Then I'm trying to expand my idea and trying to solve it and at the end I can get the correct answer. Right, I hope you find this video helpful. Anyways, thanks for watching.